We are here with the Honourable Rebecca Joshua Okwachi, Minister of Telecommunications and Postal Services with the Republic of South Sudan. Minister, you're very welcome to the World Telecommunication Development Conference here in Dubai. Thank you very much. My pleasure. May I ask, as the newest member of the ITU family, what have been the biggest challenges you've been facing? Talking about the challenges in particular, uh, we are a new country. Uh, we had our last civil war 2005. 2011 we got the independence. Definitely, with a long period of war, South Sudan has gone through big challenges. Even the Minister of Telecommunications and Postal Services in South Sudan was established in 2006, uh, which then gives us also um, a name of being a new ministry. Uh, because by then, when we were one country, uh, the, the ministry was under the main government in, in, in Khartoum. Uh, so we are starting fresh, and being fresh then, it means then we really have to work hard to address the challenges. With the civil war, which went on for two decades almost in our country, we did not have any uh, infrastructure in telecommunications. Uh, ICT also did not reach us in, in, in that level you, you may think of. Uh, even use of computers was also scanty in our country. So uh, uh, our challenge is that we don't have infrastructure, which is enough to cover our country. We are still even battling with the usage of uh, um, uh, internet now because we have a very limited uh, band. And uh, also because of the war, we also had um, a big challenge of education in general and therefore having people in the sphere and the, the field of uh, ICT is also very limited. So the infrastructure is not there. The services uh, have been very limited because we're like, you know, part of a, a region in the big country before independence. So uh, I would say we tried our very best to move in a small way. Uh, since we became members of the ITU, we also got an opportunity to even learn more of uh, opportunities for improving uh, the telecommunications and ICT in general, and also educating our public in terms of benefiting uh, from uh, technology. So the challenges are there, but what is good is that we are working hard to catch up and to surmount all these challenges that we have been going through. And what are you seeing in terms of how the population itself is using technology nowadays? Are you witnessing, for instance, a big explosion of mobile devices like elsewhere in the world? Uh, yes. Uh, one thing I want to put forward is that uh, we are still not connected in terms of fiber optic. Uh, we are only using uh, satellites and uh, therefore it's expensive. Uh, and uh, we, we don't have the enough broadband for us to use other applications. But uh, what's good and is actually encouraging is that uh, with the introduction of the mobiles that came to our country not long ago, you walk on the street there, you will find people are on, uh, on, uh, on phone. And uh, still also not all the applications are being used, but uh, I mean today the, the woman in the market in South Sudan, you will find her even if she has not gone to school with all the illiteracy level that we have. They are able to use their mobiles. They are able to communicate even with their uh, relatives. Even those who are in the cattle camp, this is where we keep our animals. You know, Today, those elderly people who have not gone to school are able to use their mobiles. So for us, this is a leap. Uh, it's it's uh, promising and it also shows that uh, our people, the people of South Sudan, are open for receiving technology and even for using it. Uh, also, the internet uh, user, uh, there is a, a bit of progress. Still, also, we have limited usage of it. But uh, today, you will find our young people are on the internet. Uh, this also gives us a very big hope in terms of uh, working hard as a country to avail the opportunities for the people since they are already interested in it, since they have already tested it. You will find a large number of our youth now who are on Facebook, uh, who are able to use Twitter. So this is also very promising and it encourages me as a minister really to work an extra mile to ensure that the opportunities that they have already started and they are enjoying and it also helping them is giving them that chance to, to be able to do that. 
So we have a lot of plans. We have a strategic plan. Our policies are in place. And our vision is very clear. Um, also, um, we, we have small semblance of uh, uh, progress in terms of uh, use of um, uh, computer and internet. Within our ministry, we have an institute, ICT Institute. It's a small one. The, uh, the principal is with me here in the conference. And one thing we are also pushing very hard is to give this population that we still feel uh, are suffering from illiteracy, a very high level of illiteracy. But then those who have moved forward get that opportunity of training because capacity building is very, very important for them. Introduction of technology in general for them to be able to absorb it, understand it through advocacy, and then for us now to avail the opportunity for them to pick it up. Because we have always told ourselves, even if we are so far the last baby in Africa, uh, we are not going to wait. We are going to take every opportunity possible because already the message is there, the innovations are there, we can read and write, so why not then pick the positive aspect of technology, introduce it, because now we understand that it can help us in terms of health, in terms of education, in terms of business, in terms of money transfer. Uh, so if we need education, then why not shorten that period of time by using technology? So uh, all these kind of packages are there in our strategic plan, in the vision of our country, and all we are doing then as a government is to avail the opportunities for our people to pick them up so that it contributes to the development of our country. And here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference, where the international community gathers to define the priorities for the ITU's work over the next four years, yes. what particular outcomes would you like to see in South Sudan that can be of real and practical support for you to help you on this, this journey that you've just outlined for us? Yeah, definitely. For us, as I said at the very beginning, this is a very good opportunity. And I would really want to take this opportunity to appreciate the ITU for uh, accepting us in the membership and also for having this chance to, to go and join these big conferences of which this is not the first time. Uh, we also participated in, in Bangkok, in Thailand, in the conference. And by the way, uh, for us, it was the first time we can set up our pavilion in Bangkok. And that was news. Even for us in the country, I, I, I went home singing. And, and telling them, you know, if you have not done anything now as a new Minister of Telecom, uh, I'm happy that we were able to have our pavilion in Bangkok in the middle of the giants, which is actually, um, you know, forward-looking uh, kind of uh, optimism for us to, in the middle of all this benefit. So um, having this conference and participating here with a delegation of about five of us, uh, give us a chance for us to exchange experiences with the uh, colleagues in, in, in other countries in the world. Uh, also be able to um, learn from the challenges that they have gone through. Now we are going through a phase that many countries have already gone beyond. But then sharing their experiences help us to see what is it that did not happen? What are those challenges? And instead of, you know, bogging ourselves down, it helped us to um, look at the challenges and be able to overcome them through the experiences. Some might have even had pitf uh, pitfalls before. Also, this conference, uh, you know, we, we also focus on some particular areas. Uh, for instance, the issue of broadband is very important. It also gives us an opportunity to speed up having us connected in terms of fiber optic because that will give us a chance also to be able to use other applications in technology and we are working very hard now. It's actually what is on my table now and we have a strategy for that. Also in terms of uh, areas like rural access, this is of particular interest for us because uh, many of our uh, population still uh, live in the rural areas. And uh, even with the, say, in, in, uh, in mobile, uh, we are still in 3G. But even with 3G, as far as we can reach, this is what we are doing with our 
uh, friends and partners in uh, the telecom operators that are in the country that we need to reach out to the population so that they can you know uh, get the services and also benefit from the connection uh, I'm also setting up one of my priorities as a minister is to set up our regulatory body we have what we call the National uh, Communications Authority and uh, so far we've also been communicating with the ITU and this is also part of the benefit of being members uh, and request them to guide us and also uh, help us in terms of uh, our panel. Uh, we have already advertised for the position of the Director General and we have been in communication with them to guide us or help us with some experts from the region who can, can join us and, 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 and support us in terms of having uh, uh, a, a transparent, credible, professional uh, authority or regulator and that's the advice I've been getting from friends and from the ITU. Have a strong regulatory body in your country and that will help solve some of the challenges. So this is also an area really of focus for us. Uh, also the area of capacity building. I think that's also of great importance for us. As I said, we, we are coming uh, up as a new nation. And the knowledge is all over. Why reinvent the wheel? And, 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 and I've been like, you know, why go around suffer? Why agonize in silence? So I've also been uh, communicating and uh, requesting for support in terms of building the capacity. We have a number of engineers, by the way, that uh, when we were one country as Sudan, and, and, and they are there. But again, technology keeps on uh, changing. They also need to refresh their minds. I have a big population of young people who are uh, budding and who are growing now. We also need to bring them into the area of ICT and technology and they are there for, for, for training and for learning and for building their capacity. So uh, the, the topics are large, uh, but I think these areas in particular, apart from also um, people are talking about digital migration now, and we also have a committee that has been put in place uh, comprising the Minister of Telecommunications, Postal Services, and our Minister of Information and Broadcasting. These are two separate ministries. But just a week before we, this conference has started, the team has sat together and we are also chatting on our way on how do we prepare ourselves for the digital migration. So we, we, we hope to be part of, in the near future, of e-education, uh, and that is uh, an area also very close to my heart in terms of educating our children. If we can use technology, it will help us. And then I should not forget also the gender inclusivity. I'm also biased when it comes to that. You know, I, I also promote women development. So uh, in terms of uh, this topic here within this conference, uh, that is also very important and it's very close to my heart because it also helps us as a country as we move towards development, we are also carrying the gender perspective for us. Put together, I think that will help us to have the nation growing at the same time and at the same level. And all will contribute to the development of our new nation. Minister Akwachi, thank you so much for providing us with such a great range of insights into all of the challenges and mm -hmm. opportunities you have yes. in South Sudan. Yes. And we look forward to talking to you again and, and accompanying you on this, on this journey. Thank, thank you very you much. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you.